Hey guys, it's Zara for Trans Youth. Um, this week's topic is trans representation in media. Um, this is something I've covered on my own channel. Um, when was that? Probably like a month or two ago. I don't know, I don't remember, but um, it's something I covered. Um, so I guess I'll cover it again. Um, I don't really like how we are represented in like movies and TV shows and stuff because I, I think they portray us in a negative way. Like, um, my glasses are crooked and my eyebrows are crooked. Whatever. Um, we're represented in a negative way. Like, if you if you see a trans girl in media, a lot of the time it'll be played by like a guy. Um, Which, of course, is not correct. Like, they should get either trans women to play trans women or women to play trans women because trans women are not men. Um, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, um, they get these actors who are, like, big... Maybe not like muscular, but like men um, who have had, who haven't taken hormones or anything like that, um, and like real trans women, obviously are women, and we look like women, like we don't look like men in dresses, um, and also, what, what else was I gonna say? Um, and also in media. A lot of shows are fine with saying words such as tranny and stuff like that, which are words that maybe not all trans women find offensive, but I do, and I know some others who do. So it, it's just like um, fag in the gay community. How often do you hear the word fag on TV? Like you just don't hear it. Um, it should be the same with tranny and other offensive terms. Um, like, I could think of a few shows, even some that I really love, like, um, where they say the word tranny, like, where you've hear, you've heard it in an episode or two. Um, so they should get trans women to play these roles, but, I don't know, I guess they don't want to get trans actors. Like, here's a situation that happened to me maybe a month ago. Um, I know this probably happens to a lot of people, but, like, a casting agent came and talked to me in the mall one day. Um, just like, hey, we're looking for new interesting people for our agency. Um, you look good, give me your phone number, we'll give you a call. Stuff like that, you know, um, this happens to a lot of people where casting agents come and talk to them. Um, and I, I did. Um... I did, and she got all weird once I mentioned that once I mentioned that I was transgender. Um, so I don't know why that would be, but and I never did get a call from them. They said they would call me in a week, and this happened maybe a month ago. So that didn't happen. Um, and not that like my dream or anything is to be an actress, but. You know, if they offered the job to me, then I would have taken it for sure. Because it, it would be a fun thing to do, I guess. Um, so, maybe it's just because there's not so much work for transgender women. Even though... We could play pretty much any role any woman could play, I think. Um, but also specific roles as transgender women. Tra a transgender woman playing that role would obviously be the key, be key because they would portray it the best. They would um, they would be able to maybe make some changes to the script of things that aren't true or like offensive terms to get those out of there. Just things like that. But you don't really see that. Um, 
you can't really think of any transgender actors or actresses. I don't know. There probably are some. I, I can think of Calpurnia Adams that comes to mind, but that's the only one. Um, so yeah, trans in the media aren't portrayed the best, but um, if they were to put more trans actors out there, then it would get better. Okay, well, this is Zara for Trans Youth. Um, if you have any more questions or comments or whatever, comment, video response, or email us at um, transyouthchannel at gmail.com. Okay, peace out.